Storm Track 7 forecast on KWWL. Good evening and thank you for logging on. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. It's been a pretty nice day and we're going to have a pretty nice evening, although we are going to track a stray shower or storm north of Highway 24 this evening. That would be a pretty brief downpour, uh, but if those do move, move overhead, make sure you move inside because there is going to be some lightning with those storms. But otherwise, we'll see partly cloudy skies for tonight with some cooler temperatures. Feeling very summer like here for tomorrow and Monday as the breezes will kick in. We'll see lots of sunshine, but temperatures will warm up and the humidity will return. Now overall, future track not going to pick up on those showers north of Highway 20, but the best chance will be between uh, roughly 7 o'clock and 10 o'clock. After that, we'll see partly cloudy and dry conditions for the overnight hours. So most will stay dry for the next 24 hours. And as we start to make our way into tomorrow, starting off with partly cloudy skies, but by the afternoon, those clouds will thin out and we'll get a lot of sunshine in here. And skies will stay clear through Sunday night and they'll also stay sunny all the way out through Monday. And that's going to kind of bake us and, uh, in, and increase our temperatures. But we are tracking Tropical Storm Cristobal. It's currently in the Gulf of Mexico with sustained winds around 50 miles per hour. Uh, that is moving to the north about 12 miles per hour, and it is set to make landfall right around uh, Sunday afternoon in Louisiana. It continues to move through the heart of the United States and actually moves over Iowa by Tuesday and will continue to push off into Canada after that. Now, it's not the winds that we are concerned about. It's the rainfall, and it's going to bring a lot of moisture to the Midwest. In fact, we are going to see multiple inches of rain likely for all of our viewing area. Uh, really from Tuesday and into Wednesday, we're kind of the bullseye here and some could be talking more than three inches of rain. So we'll have to keep an eye on those rivers. They will be on the rise and maybe some flooding potential here, uh, especially for the day on Tuesday heading into Tuesday night. Otherwise, the wind's going to be pretty strong. We'll see a 10 to 20 mile per hour wind in from the southeast through tomorrow, and that will go for Monday as well. That's going to increase our dew point or humidity levels, and our dew points will get back into the mid 60s for both Sunday and Monday and stay there for Tuesday, actually, as uh, that uh, post tropical storm will push in. Uh, so that will go along with all of the rain chances. Otherwise, for tonight, looking like our lows right around 60 degrees with that southeast wind, uh, about 5 to 15 miles per hour. And for tomorrow, we will track high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s with partly cloudy skies to start. It's going to be a little on the breezy side, though. City by city forecast, most of us will be in the 90s for Monday. And with the humidity, it'll probably feel like the mid to upper 90s outside to go along with all of that sun. And Tuesday, a 90% chance for heavy rain and storms as temperatures start to cool down just a bit. A lot of us will be in the upper 70s for that day. Storm track seven day forecasts. Our temperatures do not recover after that. We'll see a few lingering showers for Wednesday as the winds pick up from the west. Other than that, our highs stay in the 70s all the way out through next weekend with lows well into the 50s. And we could even be talking 40s for some as high pressure moves in and gives us plenty of sunshine from Thursday through Saturday.